Right guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to install the Lemke three-piece top. So I didn't see any other videos about it and uh, maybe some questions on how these things go together. So show you that. All right guys, so this is the three-piece top for the um, first gen Viper. And um, these are out of production now and they're pretty hard to find, fairly rare um, for, uh, you know the the viper community so they're pretty sought after uh and they're they're pretty well made uh they're all fiberglass and the best part about them being three pieces is you can store them i've got the three bags in the trunk you can store all three of these together and get them out they weigh about eight pounds a piece so you can do it by yourself instead of having a huge top to mess with so that's kind of nice this one has the scoop in the front and it is functional they've actually little plastic plugs you can pull out have fresh vent, uh, air coming coming in through the vent. So that's kind of nice. Uh, these were created by Jeff Lemke. So a lot of people call them the Lemke three-piece top uh, for the Viper. So uh, this is mainly what you need. So you got the three pieces here, you've got this back bar that goes on, and then you got the two pieces of side glass. And these are real glass windows. They're not placy glass or plastic. So real glass windows. This one's been put on, this is the passenger side. It snaps in to the door, just like the normal soft top does. And up here, this screws in, just like the normal soft top also. So that's a little little finger screw there. Just tightens it in the door frame, and that sets down in there. It works pretty good. Um, it, it actually seals up pretty good. You know, none of these tops. <laughs> Uh, actually seal up very very good but this one actually does does pretty good i think it does better than the stock soft top so that's on there now uh, in the last video i was able to lower the driver seat down so i can actually use the hard top now and be somewhat comfortable so uh, if you're 6'4 305 pounds like i am it's a little bit harder to fit in the smaller vehicles uh, one thing is the top bar the bar pad that goes across does have to be removed so uh, I do have one of those for the summer uh, now, but uh, throughout the winter, I'm going to leave the hard top on here. And uh, so the pad has to come off. And, and most any hard top you get, for, well, not the stock ones, but the aftermarket ones, you have to pull this off. Um, so um, we'll get started out. You've got these pins here. The stock pins do nothing um, on this top. So you've got these pins. So you put those in, you take the stock bolts out. Once you get those pins in, you put the main support bar across the back, right? So here's that main support bar and it actually just kind of snaps onto this one and then into this one. So you just get those down in there into that rubber, push it back and that goes all the way into there like that. And that's good to go. There we go. So now the center part of the top will actually snap into here. So we'll grab that. All right, guys, so the center part of the top has this part right here. I don't know if it originally came with some kind of foam pad there. That's something the, uh, the previous owner added just to make it snug up against the uh, the uh, wind, windshield. That's those plugs I was telling you about for the vent. And then you've got the two spots in the back that connect in that bar. So we'll add it on now. So you just wanna line this up near the pins and then you're gonna slide it back onto these pins and then drop it down in the front and click that down. Okay, so that is in place. Now the next one is either side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the passenger side here. We'll get it closed up and then we'll move on to the driver's side window. All right, once you get the top set up here, you can see that this will snap down to that and then this actually pops around it and we'll hold that in. Then you've got these pins, those will slide in and you clamp it down with these. Now those are adjustable so that you can, you know, tighten them up and, and fix that. So you just gotta line these pins up, slide the top in, and then at the front, you've got a front little turning piece here that will click into the actual frame of the windshield, just like the stock soft top. Okay, that's set down into place. Now these, you just hook them onto the end here and snap them in. Just like that. There we go. Let's get the other side. All right. 
this side is on. And when you snap the front end, make sure you just push down and then flip that little latch towards the outside of the door here. And then the, uh, the pins are all fixed in the back. And then just do this side. And that will tighten her up. All right, so the top is on. That's all there is to it, and it is in place. That looks pretty dang good. All right, so the last thing to do is that driver's side window. And it's a little different, um, maybe, depending on uh, which uh, model you got. And, and uh, how old or new it is. So this one still snaps down into the door, except for mine has this piece. So this actually bolts up. I had to find this bolt and make it work. So you get this piece on there and the actual window clicks into this, almost like a, a doorknob, the way that it works. So it actually has a hinge on it so that you can pull the window back and reach in and grab the door handle. All right guys, so the driver's side window will snap in just the same but it's actually on a hinge so that this, this little window can pop out so you can reach in and grab your door handle. Uh, now, some of those may not be like that. These may be just like the, the passenger side and actually screw in, but this is how this one is. So the plate here that screws on, this piece actually works just like a door handle and will pop into here. So that snaps in just like that and that holds it in. You just pop that back close and now the window is actually completely in place and will hold in pretty good. So then that closes up just like that. So, and that looks pretty good. And you get it back in, you just go open it back up, reach in and grab the handle. So works pretty good. So that's it. That's the Wimkey three-piece top.